Ever wonder how to add clickable links into your fully designed and curated projects in Behance? I have a super simple trick I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's get into it. So what trips people up is that in XD and Figma, you can actually add clickable links that will work inside of Figma and XD. But when you export everything that you need to export for your case study in Behance, what you're exporting is PNGs or JPEGs. And links obviously cannot stay active in a JPEG or PNG, so you lose that interactivity. But there is a way to add clickable links into your projects right inside Behance. And I'm gonna show you how to do this without losing this seamless and curated, designed, custom look that you worked so hard for. Let's dive deeper into this case study of mine to see exactly how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm zeroing in on this section here. Um, this is kind of my research section, my process section. And so what I wanted to do was include two articles that are actually clickable that someone could visit. Um, that is where I got some of my research. So article one, article two, and what you can see here is that these are actually on a separate artboard. So this isn't an artboard that I am going to place into Behance. It's just one that is showing me exactly where to place those articles later when I'm inside of Behance, if that makes sense. So it's just a placeholder. What's important here is that I know what the background color of this should be and I know what the text color should be. That's really why I've designed it so that later on I know exactly what styles to use in Behance. And I've really done the exact same thing at the bottom of my project. This is really common in Behance. So I have this artboard here that has sort of my thank you and then um, my name here. And this is another section that won't actually get exported to Behance, but I'll create it directly in Behance. It's going to have my social links here. So again, all that I'm worried about is I know what color this background should be and I know what color this text should be. Upload to Behance like you normally would. So what I would do is select all of these artboards, command E, and export them. And I can go in and delete these ones later or I can deselect them here in XD. And then we are going to go into Behance. So I've already uploaded all of these images. I've just uploaded them by using this add content image block and then just selecting all of them and then actually going in and ordering them correctly. So how to do that is you can hover over this little um, icon here reorder project and you can see here that you can reorder any of the artboards to make sure they perfectly match with your XD or Figma file. Just as a side note, the other thing that I like to do is make sure that my content spacing is at zero. And that's because since I design my case studies like this in XD and sometimes Figma, I always like them to look like one long scrolling page with no space in between. Okay, so once I have all of my content in order, I'm just missing those text boxes of links. So I am just going to go up into add content and hit text. And by default, it's going to go to the very end. So I'm just going to type some sample text in there so that we have something to work with. And then again, I'm going to do reorder project. And I'm just going to drag this to go exactly where we want it. And now here we are. So let's take a look at this for a second. So first off, it is center aligned. We want it left aligned. Then we only have a few fonts to choose from, but I think that what's gonna look best with my fonts here is something simple like Arial. Um, going to make it 24 pixels so it's a little bit bigger than this small heading here and then I am going to grab that hex value from my XD file 
just to make sure that I'm using the exact color that appears elsewhere in my case study. Just paste that there, confirm. Okay, and now I am going to go find the actual text and links for my articles. So I'm just going to highlight this, click the link, paste my link there, and I always want it to open in a new tab. Then I'll do the same for this one. And there we go. It's looking pretty good, almost perfect, but not quite. As you can see, the background color of my project is this um, white color here in Behance, but in this section, it is this gray. So I actually need to change the background color here in styles to be that same gray. So again, I'm gonna go grab the color from XD. Okay. And now when we scroll down and find our links again, you can see that it looks completely seamless in here with these. So we can do view a preview. It's perfectly in line and it the background looks like a perfect color as well. So now we're just going to do the exact same thing at the end of my project. So I'm just going to do text. And for this one, I do want it centered. And I don't love how close together these are, so I'm actually going to do a fun little emoji thing here. <laughs> All right, I just added my links just the way I did before, and that's about it. Save your project and preview it so that you can test out your links and make sure they work how you want them to. If you like this video, you might also wanna check out these two videos that I've also made about case studies or this full course dedicated to teaching you how to write, design, and publish a UX case study of your own. I'll leave those linked for you below, so feel free to pop open the description box and check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a future video. Bye.